Well, I have a million things to share about working with James. I feel like he never really knew how good he was, and I think that may have served him or, or served other people. Like, he was so uh, humble in the face of how great he was. He never really felt like he knew what he was doing, and uh, it, may, it can't help but make you so comfortable and just and love him so easily because he, uh, he was so uh, such a powerful actor, such a powerful scene partner. But the humility added to uh, just um, just how much fun he was to be with. Jim was very, very funny. We had a lot of laughs. And he took his work seriously, but he didn't take himself seriously. You know what I mean? Like, he was willing to, you know, be a clown and, and be, a, you know, uh, have fun. Uh, and yet, he could also be very generous and very giving. He was there if you needed him. And we were very good friends. And that, that made the work even better, I think. Oh, my God. I used to love when he would be able to let loose and laugh, where he didn't have a heavy scene. We did a scene where we all played Marco Polo late night in the pool. And that was just, just to be like a silly family, you know? But we didn't get many moments like that, and I treasure those. I have a, a lot of favorite memories, but I think um, the best memory was uh, when we were working on the last scene that I was in. And uh, yeah, there's just, just a lot of tears because it was my last scene, and and uh, you know, and uh, everybody was upset. But uh, you know, um, when the Emmys uh, were announced, I got a phone call about 7:45 in the morning. It was Jimmy, and he said, "Vinny, you were robbed because I didn't get nominated." And for him to call me up and say that, I, I always remember that phone call. He said, "You were robbed," and you and you say to yourself, "I don't think I'm going to get this shot again," you know as an actor. I mean, it could come again, but, and, you know, I, I thought about that, and I would have really loved to have been nominated, you know, but that's, you know, what are you going to do? I think about him all the time. He's very, very good friends uh, uh, off, off, off set as well, and, um, you know, just every scene, scene, scene I did with him, you know, you walk away a better actor, and, uh, and he was just um, very, very humble, you know, very much uh, in his own mind a character actor, uh, he never really felt like a leading man, you know, so that kept things in the in more of an ensemble, I think, that vibe, you know. Definitely the off-camera stuff of, uh, you know, finding out that he would call my manager to make sure I wasn't spending too much on rent or hanging out with the wrong people, This and him telling my manager, don't tell Robert I called. He didn't want the credit. He didn't want people to think he was a good guy. And that's the thing, like, I don't remember Jim ever going around looking for validation from people, you know? He was who he was, and it, for me, Jim was perfect.